Hi, if you're watching this, you're probably interested in which note-taking technique is best for people with dyslexia. My name is Jonathan Kemp. I'm a human intelligence entrepreneur and the creator of Smart Wisdom, the scientifically proven next generation note-taking and planning technique. I've been helping people manage knowledge more effectively for the past 20 years. I'm actually dyslexic myself, but uh, I didn't know that for many years. In fact, I wasn't diagnosed until my late 40s. So I've experienced the, the challenges of dyslexia all my life, through education, through work, um, and it's had a great impact. And I'm not gonna beat around the bush. It was a negative impact, huge. So what happens, <clears throat> so why, why is dyslexia or has dyslexia been such an impact? Well, society places huge emphasis on understanding new information, both within our education system and in the workplace. And what happens for me as a dyslexic is that my brain tends to scramble information, whether I'm reading it or I'm listening to it. And there are certain things that will trigger the scrambling, um, if something is theoretical or conceptual, or if there's a lot of new terminology. And all of those three things exasperate. Now, the only options I had available to me for managing knowledge was sit and listen. Well, that didn't really help. Uh, take traditional notes, which is a 2000 year old recording technique taught to us all at school. Nothing's changed. That certainly didn't help or using a laptop. Well, that's just, if I'm being blunt, a glorified recording technique because it's still using the 2000 year old, you know, listen and either write it in sentences or bullets technique. There's, it's just pure recording. What transformed my life, and I mean literally transformed my life, um, you know, the effect was just, incredible was making a switch from what I call previous generation note taking record now use later to next generation note taking and the difference between the two with next generation note taking the whole point of doing it is being able to convert information into knowledge and knowledge is the real time under um, sorry knowledge is the understanding of information and being able to do that real time and the key thing is what I call percentage RTU. So that's the percentage of real time understanding. So as I'm listening to you, that I want to achieve, you know, the optimum understanding of what you're saying, however complex it is. And I can do that now. So next generation note taking, there are some key features to it. One is a deep processing of what you're hearing. Um, you also do a deep filtering. So you're getting rid of a lot of un unnecessary information. And then a dynamic, what I call dynamic structuring. So you're constantly looking at how to structure information, um, where are the headings, where are the subheadings. And then the final bit is all that helps me with the real time understanding. The next bit is being able to use it. So the final number four point um, on the jigsaw is a dynamic overview. So I can literally look at the information. I can look back at you. Um, if I'm in a meeting or, you know, doing an interview or a coaching session and li quite literally, um, I can use that information all, all the time. So something said in five minutes, I can use it 55 minutes later on. I'm in a presentation 45 minutes in and I can quite literally see everything that's been said before and they all links together. And I'll show you how this works. So here, the first bit is the uh, dynamic filtering. So I'll, I'll look here, what information would I hear? So there's a need to find one good approach to help improve understanding and to help improve the confidence. So I'm now gonna do this deep filtering and I'll probably keep need uh, one good approach, improve understanding, increase confidence. Now we'll all filter the, the information we hear differently and that's completely normal. Um, that's probably the way I would do it if I was listening to it at speaking speed or if I was reading it in a book. 
And then I do the dynamic processing. So I break all the knowledge up in single units. Um, and we go approach. I abbreviate because it's faster to do and as a dyslexic, my spelling isn't as magical as it might be, which means it's appalling. Uh, understanding and increase confidence. Increase confidence. Now the dynamic structuring comes in lots of very subtle ways. So the more information that I get, the more I convert into knowledge. I'll constantly be looking for appropriate headings and subheadings at three levels. Um, also, every time that I see the word and or or, I know that's a natural break in the, uh, in the knowledge that I'm creating. So you can see improve understanding and increase confidence. Those are two things that directly connect onto here. I wouldn't necessarily have, well, I wouldn't have spotted that there at all. And in terms of the dynamic overview is that I can see that at a glance. I can't see the knowledge in there at a glance. And if I show you an example, I've got an example here of an hour's uh, presentation. In fact, it's over an hour. So that using this technique, was an hour's worth of information. And I can see that at a glance. So I always start at one o'clock and I finish here. That meant as I walked out of that room, I knew exactly what had been said. It's incredibly powerful. Now, the great thing is, is this has been tested by this type of next generation note taking technique and where you break things up and reconnect them has been tested by cognitive neuroscientists and they found in a demanding meeting or presentation, real-time understanding, that's 64%. The amazing thing is, two weeks within, within two weeks of doing this type of processing, your real-time understanding increases by 12%. That's for dyslexics and non-dyslexics. And it gets better. After a year, our real-time understanding increases 20% from the original level. That's 20% real-time understanding. But it gets even better still. Because for dyslexics, we can go even further. Real-time understanding for people with dyslexia goes up to 87%. I mean, that is a game changer. That means we can sit in a in a meeting or a presentation or anything where we're listening to information. I suspect reading the same, but this was done on listening. And our understanding of that information will be 20%, not even, so, well, so dyslexic, I'm mixing my words. It will be 23% greater than all the other non-dyslexics around me. That is a game changer. So what I would say, if, you're, uh, if you are dyslexic or you're passionate about helping people with dyslexia, I would recommend not, from my experience, just sitting and listening. To me, it's a waste of time. Short-term memory is really is, is appalling. And for myself as a dyslexic and other dyslexics have said the same, our short-term memory is probably worse than the average. Um, so for me, listening is a complete waste of time. Taking traditional notes, all I'm just doing is recording verbatim or part verbatim, and a laptop, exactly the same. Uh, there's no difference there. So what I would say is, um, if you've enjoyed this video, then please press like. Um, always feel free to uh, comment, of course, and share widely. So if you're interested in helping dyslexics, or you're dyslexic yourself, then I'd thoroughly, thoroughly recommend make that shift from previous generation note-taking to next generation note-taking. And the difference is the more processing you do of the knowledge, the better. Now, if you wanna follow what I've shown you here, um, which is the smart wisdom technique, then please do follow it. 
Equally, if you want to come and join me as an information athlete and learn more about Smart Wisdom, of course, feel free to do that as well. But the key thing is please share this wildly, widely, and get this information out there. 23% improvement by processing information. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a brilliant rest of the day. And of course, on the sides, up at the top and down the bottom, there is a link to some more tips on how to manage information more effectively. Thank you.